Hey folks, it's GamerSecurity.org and today I wanna to talk to you about PIA VPN. Now, PIA VPN uh, is private internet access. Unfortunately, we're not going over CIA. That's from my personal conspiracy theory YouTube page. You can uh, see that link below. But generally speaking, we wanna talk about what we liked with PIA VPN, maybe what we didn't like so much, what stood out to us about PIA VPN as compared to other VPNs. Then I'm gonna get into the core feature set in terms of servers and protocols, encryption, things of that nature, before showing you how fast it was for me and the few servers that I picked. Then I'm gonna go over the entire mobile app experience and then just give you a full idea of what it's like to use PIA VPN. So strap in and let's dive in to private internet access VPN. So PIA has been in my orbit for a long time in the VPN game, or maybe I've been in its orbit. Uh, it's a major player, it does really well. It is a great experience, of course, but I wanna begin by talking about its no logging policies because what does that really mean? It kind of means something different, it seems, for every VPN. Now with PIA, we, we reached out to them and they basically uh, told us that, hey, we have your email address uh, that we grab. Um, we can, if you opt in, uh, have some general location stuff, and that's generally uh, for other purposes, not related to you actually at all. Uh, and then it has to do with the ability to opt in for them to collect a little bit of data just to make the VPN better. But once again, you have to opt in for that collection. So they have a pretty solid no logging policy. I'm, I'm glad that they were so clear about it. Um, and so that's definitely a plus for us. Also, generally speaking, we had pretty solid speeds uh, across the board with PIA. And my favorite thing, of course, as a person, as I've stated before, coming from a big family, uh, 10 simultaneous connections. I mean, in my house alone, I've got multiple VPNs running on various devices at any point. You definitely want to have more than one connection, definitely more than five connections. I mean, and the more connections, the better when it comes to your VPN experience. So PIA definitely does well in that regard. Now, what I didn't like about my experience with PIA, well, I have to state that in terms of what I have personally experienced was my attempt to use various of the optimized streaming service. So we love that they have these optimized streaming servers available, but it didn't always work for me in terms of the content that I was trying to stream. So if I tried to get into some Italian content, uh, I may not necessarily work. If I tried to get into you know, some British content, uh, it wasn't necessarily working. So definitely wanna be clear that in my case, on the days that I tried, I wasn't always successful using streaming services uh, in other locations. Now I wanna talk about what I think really makes PIA stand out. Now, first of all, they have split tunneling. Now beyond just having split tunneling on an app level, they actually have IP level split tunneling. So it doesn't mean that you're just solely uh, restricted to uh, you know apps in terms of how you split tunnel, which is nice to see, it's a nice little bonus. Additionally, they have the ability to multi-hop when you're on a computer. I did not see that in my experience with iOS. We didn't see that on Android, but when you're on a computer, you can go through and uh, decide to multi-hop. It's always fun to do. They also seem to have an agreement with Shadow Socks, so you can use that. As someone who has spent a lot of time historically in the People's Republic of China, I am familiar with what Shadow Socks um, you know, presents uh, to the public, if you will, in terms of uh, what it can accomplish. And we shouldn't really conflate that, of course, with the VPN, but it is good to know that that is an option, along with just setting up your own custom proxy with PIA. Additionally, with PIA, they allow you to buy your own IP address. So that's something you can do in PIA. So what is typically a pretty simple experience when it comes to VPN and VPN servers, they really have kind of built a bit of a back end to that. So they really are looking out for you in terms of a lot of different things you might wanna do on the internet. So beyond just giving you that VPN, they're like, oh, you can buy an IP address. We can help you with adware and malware. That's another option. We can help you multi-hop. Um, they can even allow you to automate rules. So for different networks, you can have different things set up. And that's pretty fun. So if I can automate rules under what VPN uh, I'm gonna like sign on to depending on what network I'm on, that's really useful. So ultimately, really like that PIA is like, yeah, we've made a VPN. 
but we've also made all of this. And these are all things that really work with VPN. So you're in the market for a VPN, but you also may be in the market for these things because you're the type of person who's already looking out for a VPN. So in that sense, PIA is really knocking it out of the park and really makes them stand out as opposed to many of the other VPNs out on the market today. Pretty dope. Now let's talk about what PIA has in terms of its core features. For example, does it have a kill switch? Yes, it does have a kill switch. You have the option to use a kill switch. So they will ensure that nothing gets out on the web in case something happens to your VPN connection. Now, when it comes to servers with PIA, they have thousands of servers in over 75 countries. Now, of course, they don't have the most we've potentially seen, but they definitely have all the ones that I need personally, uh, definitely more that I'm going to use within a year, two years. Uh, you'll want to check and see the server list, of course, to see what works for you. But generally speaking, I'm 99% sure that PIA will have servers uh, that will be of use to you. When it comes to encryption, they use the top of the line AES 256 bit. So nothing to worry about there. Uh, you're gonna be uh, nice and encrypted with PIA VPN. Now, when it comes to protocols, PIA has the most typical ones, of course, that open VPN with that IPsec, that IKV2, that PPTP, but it also has a wire guard. A wire guard, of course, is something we love to see because not only is it secure, but it is also fast. So they're really providing for us all, making sure we're all, you know, the, the children under PIA. Uh, none of us are left out and cast aside, uh, which is great to see. Now, speaking of speed, I would like to talk about the speed. Can I talk about the speed? I'm dying to talk about the speed. So when it comes to speed tests with PIA, it's going to be subjective depending on a lot of different factors in your life and what's going on. I'm testing today here in Brooklyn. We've tested before in other spaces. I'm testing in Brooklyn with my Verizon fiber and I'm trying to do it all within the same period of time. So there's a little bit of uniformity uh, to this process. So let's begin with what my just breakout point straight up no VPN action was and I was getting 136 megabits per second download speed and 111 megabits per second upload speed uh, here in Brooklyn that's with no PIA on so of course I first jumped into Italy and in Italy I got 106 megabits per second download speed and 44.5 per seconds um, upload speed when it comes to Tokyo, it was 94.5 megabits per second download speed and 40.8 upload speed. And then I had to go, of course, to uh, Argentina because I had dinner uh, with two friends actually from Argentina uh, last night, born uh, in Buenos Aires and uh, the surrounding provinces. And we had 78.3 megabits per second download speed and 15.5 megabits per second upload speed. And then, we finally rounded it all out, wanted to see what things were going like down in South Africa. And there we had 19.8 download speed and 15.5. So real drop off when it came to South Africa, looking at our speed test with PIA VPN. And so here I am checking out that mobile application for PIA. Now, if you note right off the bat, uh, I'm in Argentina. That was the last place I was checking out. I had dinner with those buddies. We had some Korean fried chicken. It was awesome. Um, now, when it comes to IPs and things of that nature, you have the Quick Connect right there in the middle. So let's just go ahead and Quick Connect to Great Britain. And voila, now I'm going to Great Britain in terms of uh, UK Manchester. So now I'm in Manchester uh, according to the internet. Uh, really great, basically tap and you're there. I like that quick connect functionality. What was that, maybe five, six seconds between but when I tapped it, if that, uh, and being there. Now, if I wanted to go and choose a little bit more particularly, I can hit that button that says VPN servers and you'll see a load of servers. So if I want to do, for example, content streaming in the UK and London, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, um, but you have that option. Uh, I can also go across and see Japanese streaming optimized. I can go into US East streaming optimized. Um, you can go to Chicago, New York, uh, a little, you know, feel a little hurt. There's no Nashville here, um, but rarely is there actually a Nashville. We've got DC, we have Turkey, uh, we've got UAE, Sri Lanka, get some great squid there. Uh, so just a lot of different options for you when it comes to the servers. Now beyond the servers, what else is there? Well, let's jump into that upper left hand corner and you get not only you know your username up at the top, but you get region selection options. So 
It's kind of what we just saw before, but you also have the ability uh, to go and look at dedicated IP. Uh, here you'll be pasting in your token for dedicated IP. Um, you can go into the deeper settings and here you're gonna have just some general settings when it comes to Siri and things from iOS. But really when I look at that protocol selection and protocols, I can go into IPSEC um, and do WireGuard, uh, you know, OpenVPN, uh, just look at the different options available. Um, you have different levels of data encryption. Of course, that AES-256 will be the, the highest available. Uh, you have the automation rules, so you can decide, hey, this is how this is gonna behave when I'm on my cellular connection, uh, when I'm on my Wi-Fi connection, so when I'm out in the streets in New York versus when I'm in my apartment in Brooklyn, all of these different pieces to the puzzle um, can be found in settings. So I like the fact that there is this level of, you know, relative depth. Now, of course, on your computer, you're gonna have a lot more. That's where you're gonna see the multi-hop. That's where you're gonna see a lot of the things that we talked about in today's review. Um, you may not necessarily see on your Android or on your iOS, and I wanna be straightforward about that. Um, most VPNs do not have every single one of their settings available on every single type of device. Um, you know, hardware extension, anything of that nature. That's just not the name of the game when it comes to VPNs, because I assume it probably costs a lot of money to go and do these applications um, uh, across the board. So generally speaking, that's what you're getting from uh, PIA VPN. Now I do wanna point out that they do have the privacy policy um, available to look at uh, right from there. And of course we've gone through this, we've spoken with them uh, to get a better idea of, of what actually they're providing um, to you. Um, the consumer and what they're getting from you as the consumer. And we were actually quite happy with what they had to offer. Now, uh, I do wanna point out that if you don't go into the left-hand side, you can just type in the upper right-hand corner and you know you get a lot of different options here. So you get you know your subscription, how that's going. You're gonna get the ability to you know look at what's happening in the app at the very bottom when it comes to connection and things of that nature. Uh, you can you know add your favorite servers in um, at the bottom. So for me, it's gonna be you know, that Argentina, it's gonna be that Italy, it's gonna be that Canada, that Japan. Uh, some of those are places I'd like to visit uh, when it comes to using PIA. So overall, really nice experience with PIA and wanted to make sure that you understood what it was like to use it on at least an iOS device. All right, so now I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on PIA and frankly, you know, they're still upping the level each year. I mean, it's been maybe a year and a half since I've actually been able to do a full review of PIA, but really enjoy what I've seen in terms of just upgrading um, what they bring to the table, not only on my iPhone, but also on my Mac. Of course, we'd like to see it perform a little bit better when it comes to streaming services, but in terms of what most people are going to VPNs for, uh, they are really uh, bringing it. I mean, multi-hop, dedicated IP, all these elements and levels to just increase maybe your own internal feeling of security when it comes to surfing the internet, doing what you need to do on the internet, they are really like bringing it. So really impressed with PIA, they are reliable, they are solid, and they've just been in the game for a while. They know how to make consumers happy and they know how to perform for consumers in terms of like the no logging policy and actually being pretty straightforward about what it does and does not take and it's very good in that sense. Just overall really happy with PIA. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope it was helpful in your search for a VPN that will help keep you and your family secure. Now, we're security.org. We're bringing you the newest in physical and digital security each week. It's what we love to do. So help us, you know, by subscribing to our channel, leaving us a comment, giving us a like. Hey, whatever it takes, you know, whatever it doesn't harm you. You know, just do, do what works for you. But we really appreciate you for being here today. My name is Gabe, this is security.org, be secure.